In this lesson, we're going to learn how to divide radicals. Radicals are things that have like a square root or a cube root, a fourth root, a fifth root, whatever you want. Whenever you have that symbol, it's called a radical. And in this lesson, we're going to learn how to divide them. So the way it works is the following. If you have a square root divided by a square root, rather turn it into one big square root and then just divide them like that. So that's going to be 2 over 3 multiplied by the square root of 4. Now we know that the square root of 4 is 2. And so if you had to work this out, you'd end up with 4 over 3. Here's the next example. So once again, what I would suggest is if you have a square root divided by another square root, you can write it as the square root of both of them divided by each other like that. Now, if you had to type that on the calculator, or if you had to simplify, the number three could go into the top number two times, and it could go into this number um, 25 times. Now, the square root of 25 is five, but it's at the bottom, so be careful. So when it comes out of the square root, put it at the bottom of the four, and then on the inside, you're just left with this two. Because we don't know what the square root of two is, but we do know that the square root of that is five, so we took it out. But it's at the bottom, so we kept it at the bottom. Okay. Here's our next one. So what I would do is I would just go um, 5 over 4, and then multiply that with the square root of 5 over 80. Now this can be simplified. The number 5 can go into itself once, and the number 5 can go into 80 16 times. Now the square root of 6, actually, the square root of 1 is 1, and the square root of 16 is 4. So we could write this as 5 over 4 multiplied by 1 over 4. And so top times top, bottom times bottom, that's your answer. Here's the next one. So I would just go, I'd keep the 3 at the bottom. Um, you could think of it as 1 over 3 if you wanted to, because there's a 1 there. And then you multiply that by the square root of 6 over 8. Now that can simplify to, the number 2 can fit into this number 3 times and the number two can fit into there four times. The square root of four, which is this one, is two. So we can let that come out into the front, but because it's at the bottom, it'll stay at the bottom. And then, at the, and then on the square root, we would just still be left with that three. And so if you had to simplify that, that would be one over six, square root three. Now you could also write that as square root three over six, doesn't really matter.